Um, good morning everyone, my name is Chloe Tan and I'm the website content writer at Healy Consultants based in Singapore. Today I have with me uh, the CEO of Healy Consultants, I'm Simon. Hello and, Chloe. Um, hi, how are you? I'm good and you? Good. Alright, so we're here to talk about um, a Singapore engagement, yes? Correct. So it's an engagement mm. uh, that we completed actually uh, one year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was about the setup of a Singapore holding company for uh, listed clients in the USA who was looking to expand their business activities in Asia and who needed a vehicle to hold the shares of their subsidiaries in Asia. Okay. Were there any like challenges to this engagement? No, it was uh, very simple and very straightforward. Uh, we basically set up the company for them in Singapore, which took one week. Mm -hmm. As you know, in Singapore, uh, all can be done electronically, so we just have to send the incorporation forms to the client for their signature after completing due diligence on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, the company was registered in less than one week. Uh, then we assisted the client to open a corporate bank account with GP Morgan. Mm. They had an existing relationship. And as a result, uh, there was no meeting required at uh, GP Morgan branch in Singapore. So everything once again was done uh, remotely. Okay, everything was really straightforward. Yeah. Uh, and then is this is like a usual time frame for like Singapore, like setup? No, uh, well, I mean, the setup of a company in Singapore is once again very simple. Mm. Uh, from the moment we have all due diligence documentation, on shareholders and directors, mm. it's a matter of one week at most mm -hmm. to register the company. However, in many cases, mm. uh, we will open the corporate bank account outside of Singapore in order to legally minimize uh, taxation in Singapore. Mm. In such cases, banks are usually, it's much more challenging to get a bank account, especially when the client has no existing relationship with a bank in Asia or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's often like more diligence requests. Mm -hmm. uh, the banks will want to know also what type of business the, the client is willing to engage in, what type of customers they have, why do they need a bank account to that specific jurisdiction. So we of course assist them by preparing a business plan by also liaising on the bank officers on their behalf and also by selecting banks that we expect to be interested uh, by their business activity. Uh, but that usually takes much more time. This the case of the client I was talking earlier mm. went fast because they had an existing relationship with GP Morgan. Mm, definitely makes sense. Okay. Were there like any key takeaways or highlights that you get from this engagement? No, just that Singapore is a good uh, jurisdiction for the setup of a holding company. Uh, it's fast. Mm. Singapore also enjoys a broad network of double taxation avoidance agreements. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, there are many legal ways to minimize uh, corporate income tax on dividends received by mm. Singapore company. Okay, thank you for your time today, Simon. Thank Thanks. you.